you might need to get on the phone and call. Oh, I just showed my age. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan with Bethel Budgets. I'm here because it's more than just math. At some point, you've probably built a budget. You've laid out your income, you've laid out your expenses, and thought it's simple math. I'll just stick to what's on the paper. But then life happened and your budget didn't work out. The reason? Because it's more than just math. That's where I come in. Let's figure this out together. Don't give up. You've got this. Hi, welcome to our weekly spending plan for the month of June. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. If you're new here and a new subscriber, let me know down in the comments so that I can personally welcome you to my channel. I'm so thankful that you're here. What a weekly spending plan is, is we are taking our monthly budget that we've already built, that is a zero-based budget, and we're breaking it down by paycheck. So we're taking our weekly paycheck and we're making sure that we have enough income coming in for the bills that are due to come out of that paycheck. So we're just allocating our expenses to each paycheck. So we're making sure that we have no problems with due dates, that we have enough money to come out for those bills. And what this allows us to do is problem solve. If you are building your budget every month and you're still having things bounce or having problems making ends meet, maybe you have a due date problem. Maybe especially with the first of the month, you may have more bills coming out on the first of the month than you have paycheck coming in. So you might need to get on the phone and call. Oh, I just showed my age. <laughs> have you seen those videos where, um, you know, kids are, kids go like this to talk on their phone and then zennials like me, they go like this. That's, that's funny. So anyway, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> You may need to get on the phone and have companies move your due date. You can ask for them to move your due dates for your bill payments, or you may need to split your bill pays. So if your rent or mortgage is due on the first of the month, you may need to pay half of your mortgage out of your last of the month paycheck and half of your mortgage out of the first of the month paycheck just to make that work so that not all of that money is coming out of one paycheck. So there are ways around it, but if you don't build yourself a weekly spending plan after that big picture monthly budget, if you don't build yourself a weekly spending plan, you won't be able to identify those problems to be able to problem solve. So let's jump in. So I've got my weekly spending plan open on my Remarkable. This Remarkable is my favorite tool. It, it, it has everything, all of the notebooks and books that I used to cram in my backpack are all on this one device. And it feels and sounds like writing on paper. I love this thing. So I've got open on here a printable version of my weekly spending plan. And we're gonna plug in our numbers from our monthly budget. And we're going to sort this out according to the weeks and the paychecks that we have. So the first thing I need to do is check my due dates. And one of the due dates I know that changes is the income that I give my kids. They get paid on the second Saturday of each month. And this month that happens to be the eighth. And then I think that's the only due date that's changed. Yes. So we're going to fill in the planned amounts from our monthly budget. So our planned income from our monthly budget this month is $6,858. I'm planning to get uh, $2,058 on the first of the month, $2,400 on the fourth of the month, and on the 15th, another 2,400. So I'm going to tithe $686. Um, according to my monthly budget, which I did in the last video, you can go see, we're gonna do 1,220 for our lump sum sinking funds. Water, sewer, trash gets 150. Natural gas is 65. These are budget billing. So if you're not on budget billing, make sure you pause this video right now and go get yourself on budget billing so that these numbers are the same for you every single month. It's really hard to budget when you don't know what amount you're gonna be paying. When it's the same thing every single month, it is so much easier. Highly recommend budget billing. Gas, we do 300 for gas and 56 for a car wash. 
gas prices are going up, but we tend to stay a little bit under 300 anyway, so I'm gonna hope that 300 works for us this month. Uh, the phone is 69. Shopping is 150. Now that's anything that's not grocery, so that's like Target and Amazon. Hair is 200. Kids, birthdays, and events, that's 150. Now that's not my own kids. Um, birthdays kids birthdays is if they get invited to a birthday party or if they're going to a youth group event I was not categorized or calculating the total for each category so I need to go back and do that that's really important to do so let's see 150 plus 65 plus 149 plus 50 414. I guess I could have just looked at my monthly budget, which I have open on the screen in front of me. This is 1700. I can do that math in my head. Okay, so pet care. Is that on the 23rd? That's 120. Entertainment is a bunch of various, that says various if it's too small. That is a bunch of different subscriptions that we have. They come out all different times of the month. And so that's $71. Education tuition, this is the first month we don't have to pay that, so that's very exciting. That makes this category 191 total. Gym is 26 and some change, so we put 27 there. So that category's total is 27. Okay, mortgage comes out on the first and that's $14.97. We don't have any car payments. Um, debt digging is the phone that I broke. So that's 63, so let's see, this is 1,560 here, is it? Let's, yes, 1,560. Nothing for insurance, because that we do through sinking funds. Spouse gets 50, 13, 12, 10, and I get 50 to spend as well. That's 135 in that category. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this towards each week. So this is my first paycheck, my second paycheck, and my third paycheck. So we're gonna make sure we have enough income coming in for the bills that are coming out. So we're going to start with the tithe, which is 206 here, 240 here, 240 here. And we need to add all of that up and make sure that that math correctly. 206 plus 240 plus 240. That equals to six or 686, so that's correct. The lump sum sinking funds, I always transfer that at the end of the month. Yes, I believe in paying yourself first, but I've had enough more than just math moments transferring things back and forth that I just like to wait until the end. Once I do my budget closeout for the month, I usually have a little bit more that I can transfer. I'd rather do one transfer a month then um, risk making a mistake and having to transfer things back and forth and back and forth. So I'm gonna go through and look at these due dates and put these numbers in according to when, they, um, when they'll be coming out, which paycheck they're gonna come out. So this is the seventh, Water Sewer Trash comes out on the seventh. So the first is too early, the fourth would be good, the 15th is too late. So we're gonna put it in on the fourth of the month paycheck, so that's 150. The second, the f this paycheck would be too late, so it has to come here for natural gas, so that's 65. Electricity, same deal. So that has to come out of the first of the month paycheck. Now we have cable, internet, the 11th. So the first is too early, the fourth could, okay, it comes out on the fourth of the month paycheck because the 15th would be too late. So we'll put that $50 right there, and that takes care of that category. Let's add that up real quick. 150 plus 65 plus 149 plus 50. 414. All right, these do not have due dates, this food category here. So that makes it really easy to play with. If I have a little bit of room here and a lot of bit of room here, 
Um, I'm going to come back and do that later. We're going to focus on due date things first. Gas is another one we can play with if we need to. The 11th, that would go here for $69. None of these other things have due dates. 23rd, so we'll put that on the 15th of the month paycheck. Whoops, and it's 120. Various, so the first due date here, it's like the second, the fifth, the sixth. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the first of the month paycheck just because I know from experience that that's where that fits best. Otherwise, I could list it out and I could break it apart, but for me, it's just easier to keep this as an envelope if I put the bulk of that here and then I can roll it over if I need to. No education tuition, even though that comes out. It used to come out on the 17th. I don't have to worry about that this month. Gym comes out on the 17th, so I'll put that on the 15th of the month paycheck. The first of the month is mortgage time, so that comes out there. Ninth is when we pay off that phone. So we get the first of the month, the fourth of the month, and the 15th. So we're going to put it here on the fourth of the month. So it's $63, and that takes care of that category. Um, the, the kids' spending comes out on the eighth of the month. So first, fourth, 15th, that would be here. 13, 12, 10. Okay, so now what we need to do, we've got all of our um, due dates plugged in. We need to see how close we are to reaching some of these. So the first of the month is always tricky for most people because you get your first of the month paycheck, but you also, most of the time you have a rent due. And if you have car payments, a lot of times those are coming out of the first of the month. So we're gonna take our 2058 and we're gonna work our way down here. 206 minus 65 minus 149 so that's 1638 I just am making a note of it at the bottom of the page because I've made enough mistakes to know that that's good practice minus 71 minus 1497 so I have $70 left to spend here Total planned remaining $70. Okay, let's do the same thing with the next column to see how we're doing. And then we can go back and apply the rest. 240, 150. in that column. Now the third paycheck of the month. Let's see how we're doing here. Oops. Almost forgot to make a note there. We had $7.93 to spend there. So we've got this $70 we haven't given ourselves any uh, grocery money. So let's mark this is done. This is done. This category is done. Okay. So we haven't given ourselves any grocery money or dining out money. And we had $70 left to spend. Let's do... You, you, so for me, I'm not too concerned because the first and the fourth are super close together. I could pick gas or I could pick groceries. I could split them equally between the two. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all 70 on groceries. And then I'm going to know that this column is done. And I can re-add it just to be sure. So if we take 2058 minus 206, 65, 70 minus 71 14.97 zero so our first paycheck of the month is completely allocated we have enough income to cover all of the bills coming out of that paycheck now we have 
1960 left to budget for the second of the month paycheck and 940 for the third paycheck of the month. So let's see what else we had here to allocate. This one's finished. This category's finished. This category's finished. Okay, so what we'll start doing is just dividing things in half, pretty much. So we have 1200 minus 70 is 11, 1130. If we divide that by two, we have 565 going here and 565 going here. And we had how much left to allocate? 1,793 left to allocate for this uh, fourth of the month paycheck. So if we take 1,793 minus 565, that gives us 1,200 and $28 left to allocate. So then we'll do the same thing here. We'll just keep dividing in half. So that gives us a little money on the front end and a little money on the middle of the month to get us through the back end of the month. So minus 100, minus 100, minus 50. 978 left, but this should be fully allocated. We'll divide this in half and we'll do 150 here and 150 here. And we'll put our um, car wash right in the middle of the month so we can go get that done, or the beginning, because this is the fourth of the month, sorry. We'll put our car wash at the beginning of the month on the fourth, pay, fourth of the month paycheck so we can go get our car washed at any time, which that completes that category. I'm gonna put all 200 of the hair there and I'll put I'll divide this category here. I can't decide if I want to divide the shopping category or just put it all up front. I should probably check and see how much, you know, I think we went over in this uh, 15th of the month column now. Let's, let's see how we're doing over here before I keep going. So 2,400 minus 240 for tithe, minus the 1220 for lump sum sinking funds, minus 565, 100, 150. Oh yeah, I went over in this. Shoot. So I can't do that. Oh. This one will have to be all 300 here use that like an envelope. The other thing I'll change is moving this 50 for fellowship and just put that at the beginning of the month and treat it like an envelope. So let's recalculate this here. So things that had to come out here was this one. Oh, darn. I messed up my calculator. I pushed the wrong button. So this one is a due date for that paycheck, and then this is a due date for that paycheck. So that gives us 28 left to spend. So I'm not gonna do this either. We'll put this whole 150 here. So we need to find 
to put over here. A good place to do that would be out of gas. So what's 300 minus 28? That gives us 272 over here and 28 here. Now that should have us at zero for that last of the month paycheck. So that 15th of the month paycheck. So let's double check our math. Okay, we're zeroed out there. Now that means we should be able to put everything else on this fourth of the month paycheck. So we've got that done. That is all finished. That's all finished. Let's see, 272, 56, that's accounted for. Okay, so we gotta put this 150 for shopping in there. Let's double check this category now that I've moved so many things around. 150 plus 200 plus 150. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background playing. He's got a new squeaker ball and he's very, very excited about it. Okay, that category's finished. That category's finished. That category's finished. Okay, we gotta do the 50 in spending money for myself and my husband. So that should be... One thirty-five. Okay, let's double check. We always double check our math because we don't want to make any more than just math mistakes here. One fifty, fifty, sixty-five, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. I hope I didn't just fat finger that um, calculator. We might have to do this again. We did it. All right, we have a zero-based monthly budget and we have three paychecks that are all zero-based paychecks. So this will be excellent to help us figure out if we're having due date problems, um, if this did not math, absolutely could not get this to work out, we could have um, split paid some bills. So for example, if your mortgage this was just too high to pay out of the first paycheck. You can plan for next month to pay half of it out of this one and half of it out of your first paycheck of the month. So there's ways to get around it, but until you identify those problems by doing something like this, you will not be able to uh, identify those problems or problem solve. So that's why this is so important. Do yourself a weekly spending plan and keep going. You've got this.